British Virgin Islands are known to have the most beautiful beaches and coral reefs in the world. On the 6th of September, the British Virgin Islands were struck by Category 5 Hurricane Irma. It was the most horrific experience that this country, the British Virgin Islands, has ever had. With wind speeds exceeding 185 miles per hour, 80% of buildings were lost, as well as four lives. There's something, you know, extraordinary about this storm. Every single person that you speak to agree on one thing. If that storm had hit this country in the middle of the night, they would have been living to bury the dead. The BVI is the most beautiful place on earth. What we've got to now do is make it even more beautiful. Everything that I put in was totally destroyed. And I knew right then and there. Woodwork, that... moving the trees and getting the trash out of the way and everything. We have an immediate recovery plan, and then we've got a long term plan, which is about rebuilding it even better than it was before. In the meantime, whilst they're rebuilding the hotels, they can then be open to tourists again soon. You can't be a good inter international school without uh, engaging deeply with the community around you, and uh, this has uh, given us the opportunity to engage in all new ways uh, with the extended BVI community. And, uh, you know, we've met new families, we've made new friends. Job. The marina's open, the restaurant's open, we have people working. So we reopen on that Saturday, December 9th, with approximately 120 boats on the water. People have taken stock and uh, seen the progress that the island's made uh, and see that the schools are open. There's confidence that they want to come back. On an annual basis, we welcome over 500,000 passengers. And that we now have. With the help of the rest of the world, with our own resolve, we will be able to build back and be and continue to be big and strong. And with the help from the Tree of Hands and the Rotary today, we have made up these boxes. For so the we're doing it, schools. we're getting on with it. We've got tremendous support, loads of people turning up with even more gifts. So it's fantastic. Thank you for all you, your support to our own organisations, to Merseyside Police and the Chief Officers, um, Try for Life. There's loads of people I could mention, you know who you are. We're here, we're doing the job that we said we were going to do. They brought gifts for everybody. Say yay! Yay! Say thank you. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And happy New Year. Happy New Year. Moses. Mr. Moses lives on the BBI. Yeah, I'm from the BBI. Well, the reason I'm here today is because I need assistant help with my home what being destroyed with the hurricane. So there you go, that's the reality of what's going on in the BBI. And with Olympia, 
Tebow is a school teacher from Cedar. So we've been yes, talking yeah. today about what we want to do with Cycles for the Caribbean and bringing that out to the BVI. So do you think it's a good idea if we bring Try for Life out to the BVI and we get the youth involved in cycling? Most definitely. Anything that um, can inspire and encourage the youth to be more active in cycling and in sports and it's better for their health, I support So Try for Life, uh, Cycles for the Caribbean, um, we hope to come out in July of next year and we're making contact with all the right. My name is Michael Matthews and I'm the Commissioner of Police for the Royal Virgin Islands Police Force here in the British Virgin Islands. We were fortunate that in December members of the team visited this territory and brought with them a container full of boxes of toys for the young children here in the British Virgin Islands. This was organised by Team Rubicon UK ably assisted by UK police officers and donations from Try for Life. On board the container were also the first delivery of 35 cycles for the Caribbean, organised by Constable Dan Holdsworth from Merseyside Police. Thank you, Dan. The young people of YEP, our youth empowerment project in the east end of the territory, were the beneficiaries of that very first donation. And I can tell you, we have very, very happy young people as a result of that. In late July of this year, the same team, along with the Liverpool-based triathlete team, Try for Life, led by ex royal Marine Liam Hanlon, will be in the territory to deliver further cycles for the Caribbean to the BVI and to promote these beautiful islands. While on island, the Try for Life team will be cycling, running and swimming between islands in a triathlon competition. And the team hopes this will generate lots of local participation from the sporting and yachting communities. And of course, the team will be sourcing bikes for their 60 kilometre ride from a local cycle shop here in the BVI to support our local economy. And the great news is these bikes are going to be left behind and donated for use in the BVI by our local residents at the completion of the triathlon. Young and old are going to be able to engage in healthy lifestyles and in the sport of cycling. As I have said, we here in the British Virgin Islands have been through the devastation of two Category 5 hurricanes, Irma and Maria. And the recovery has and will be long and difficult. I extend my heartfelt gratitude to all of those who are involved, all of those that are supporting this initiative, and to all of you who are going to support this initiative as a result of this promotion. Thank you.